house. I can't believe you could be so rude. I mean, last night everything was fine. Yeah, last night your flatmates were treating me like a stupid little kid that they were being forced to be nice to. Sorry, babe, I'm not stupid. I know you must have talked to them. Oh, and I'm so sorry for trying to make you feel included. I remember not to be so considerate in the future. I hate it here. What, the flat? No, in New Zealand. You wanted to come over as much as I did. Yeah, I did, but... I'm really missing Sydney. I'm trying hard not to, but I do, and I... I, I wish we hadn't moved here. And you've had a rough time coming out to Victor starting at uni. You're tough. You can get through this. It just never seems to stop. Give it a chance. Things aren't so bad here. Your dad's not charged with murder. <laughs> Hardly my fault. Who's blaming you? You are. It's obvious you resent the fact that I'm happy here. You need to get on top of things, Jay. Well, I'm trying. I just don't know how much more I can take. But the answer's so obvious, hun. Move in with me. Things won't seem so bad when we're together. Mm, if I like my family would be into me moving in with Vinny, public enemy number one. Even if that wasn't an issue, Dad needs me at home. But he's at the hearing right now, isn't he? The charges will be dropped. As for the Vinny thing, we can totally sort that. Start thinking of yourself. When we're together, things won't seem so bad. You'll see. What the hell? Yeah, nothing to lose, eh? Thank you. Are you kidding? Well, what's the problem? I thought you liked Shannon. Yeah, I do. But I asked Jay to move in with me. I mean, she was worried about what her whanau was going to think about her moving in with you, and I managed to talk around, but you and Shannon? Different story. Look, no offence, okay? But if Jay doesn't like it, she's got her dad's big comfy house to stay. I mean, Shannon's got nowhere else to go. Mm. Yeah, I know, but Jay's been so edgy lately, you know. I hate to think how she's going to react to this. Hey. Hey, morning, sleepyhead. Hey, I'm just making dinner. We're having... British cuisine in honour of our new mates, the Maybury's. We'll do our hand. Oh, no, you sit down and relax, then you can do it. Oh. No arguing, you're on trifle duty. Hey, um, is it okay if I take a shot? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Our place is your place. Hey! Hey. Just about to go in and change. Hey, babe. Hey. The whole thing's turned to crap. Dad's got to go to trial. Oh, you're kidding. No, I'm serious. It means the whole thing's going to drag out, make a bucks on lawyers, stress all around, and at the end of it, the possibility that Dad could go to jail. Oh, he won't have to go to jail. So it means that I can't move in with you. Not for now, anyway. Okay? Yeah, no, of course you can't. <laughs> OK, a little bit of disappointment might be nice. Oh, of course I'm disappointed, but, you know, what can we do? Well, I thought that you could move in with me. Like your dad really needs his daughter's lesbian lover under his roof at a time like this. No, I'll tell you what, we'll take your mind off it. I'll get you a glass of wine, some dinner, and then have a shower and go to bed, eh? Oh, babe, that sounds good. Thank you. Hey, sorry about the whole moving in thing, eh? Pardon? I just thought it might be a bit... Maya, what's he talking about? Nothing. So, you didn't want me to move in at all, did you? It's not that I didn't want you to, it's that something came up with me. Uh, I get it. That's why you didn't put up any argument when I said that I couldn't move in. Because you were going to tell me not to anyway. You, you changed your mind? Jay, it's not like that at all, honestly. Forget it, Maya. Oh, come on, Jay. Don't be like this. I mean, do I even get a chance to explain myself? Hey, so what did you learn to make roast beef? It's not that difficult, but you just drench everything in oil and shove it in the oven. Hey, why don't you just call Jay, explain everything? She'll only bite my head off again. Man, she can sleep, eh? Yeah, well, she needs it, you know, all those nights in that manky boarding house, sharing a space with the dealers and dealers. Mm. No, it's good that she's here, you did the right thing. Yeah. Uh-oh. What? How long before Shannon moves out of Norman's room and into yours? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, look, we are only friends. We've already decided that. There's nothing going on. 
or he decided or she decided. I don't know what you're getting at. Oh, then let me spell it out for you. You love hair. You know what the time is where you mean? Yeah, I know. Can I come in, please? I went back to Dad's and I had a really big fight with him to tell me. Been down it for each since. Jay. Fuck, oh, babe, I don't want to talk about it. Can you just take me to bed, please? Can I keep doing this, running hot and cold? I know. Please. I bet you she only offered you the tutoring job because she thinks he's good. <laughs> babe, please been happily married for 20 years. So she says. <laughs> anyway, she's way out of luck. Because I'm staying here with you. Even though it's your dream job? Yeah, even though. Have you any idea how happy that makes me? No. How happy? I'll show you. Can you? Your place or mine? Um, your place, because my place is still crazy. Mm, he'll be right. He's going to and down you're sorry. I've been trying to, I just can't get through to him. Uh, evening. Hi, Nick. We're keeping you up. Not you guys, that baby of ours. She likes to party all night. Oh, yeah? She's not the only one. I'll get your chain. <laughs> no, it's okay. You keep it. <laughs> Sweet. Such a waste. No. It will be our little secret. No, she'll find out. Not if you keep your big mouth shut like I did with Shannon. Uh, that was a different story. Oh, give it here, you big nah. mug. No, no. Oh, hey, Jay. <laughs> Shannon and you didn't tell me. Yeah, because of Tama. I know you guys are close. I didn't want to upset things. You want lunch? I am upset, Maya. You told me you weren't going to keep secrets from me, which made me think we're on the same wavelength. You know, about relationships being built on trust. <sighs> yeah, we are. No, we're not, because you kept Shannon and Vinny a secret from me. God, you me. did. You put Vinny's feelings over mine. Why? This isn't about you. Vinny's my friend. Yeah, well, you looked pretty friendly when I came in. What? <sighs> I'm not stupid. It'll happen one day. What do you mean? The right man gives you enough attention, Maya. You'll fall into bed with him. I know you will. Can you hear yourself? I mean, are you really that jealous? I've got reason to. You're the one that's been keeping secrets. No, it's not about that. You hate the fact that I've come here and made friends and you haven't, and that's what this is about. Oh, stupid me. I thought we had each other. Yeah, well, it's not enough. Yeah, well, it used to be until you made all these fantastic new friends who can obviously give you something that I can't. Yeah, a bit of peace. Really? Well, if I'm that irritating, maybe I should just pack up and go back to Sydney. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> this is me saying sorry. I thought champagne might help. Oh, and I thought the same with flowers. <laughs> We're such idiots. Big time. <laughs> I don't want you to go back to Sydney. I don't know why I said that. I do, babe. It's because I've been a big pain in the bum. No, you've been having a tough time of it lately, and I haven't been there for you as much as I should. Mm. It's going to change. Hey there. Mind if I pull up a pew? What does it look like? Looks mighty fine from where I'm sitting. Look, push off, you little dick. I'm trying to have a drink with my girlfriend. Oh, jeez, I get the message. Don't need to crack on like you're a couple of lizzies. You scared off so many, I thought it was time I stood up and had a go. <laughs> well, I was well impressed. You've come a long way, baby. Goodbye, hey. I love you. I think you should move in with me. I know we've talked about it before, but I really think it could be the answer to our problems. By hear me out. Okay. If you move in with me, then you still can support your father, you get to spend time with me, and you'll get to know Lee May and Vinny, and it'll work out all well. It's not as simple as that. Why not? Because I'm not happy here, you know? I haven't settled in, and I'm just making everyone around me miserable. And we're going to change that. Oh, I don't think we can. Look, I've tried. It may not seem like it, but it's just it's not happening. No, but this time I'm going to help you. Baby, can't. It's my problem. I've got to fix it. Okay, well, maybe... Maya, I can't stay here. I should be in Sydney. It's where I belong. No. 
I've booked a flight, and I fly out the day after tomorrow. This is it, man. Yeah. <laughs> you did right. You've got to do what's best for you. Yeah, it's not like it's forever. Hey, it's only three hours on the plane. <laughs> I could be there tomorrow. If you wanted to be. Yeah. I love you. Mm -hmm. You sure you don't want to come down to the airport and see me off? I can't be busy, you know. Nice to say. You can come down to the car and wave goodbye. Please don't make me on the big enough mess already. Bye, my darling.